Hello, my name is Prem Kumar Krishna and my partner teammate is GV Indran. So today we both going to present about power system in Malaysia. Okay guys, I'm going to talk about introduction. The electrical system is crucial to measure since it supports the nation, industrial development, economic expansion, and rising standard of living. The sector comprises several entities involved in the transmission, distribution, and utilization of electricity with the aim of ensuring a consistent and predictable in energy supply throughout the nation. Now, I am going to present National Grid System or Power System. So first, National Grid System is a system of generation, transmission and distribution of electricity covering larger network across countries or continents. Second, National Grid System ensure a continuous availability of sufficient energy supply for all consumers with adequate margin between supply and demand. And then the third one, National Grid System also develop and maintain efficient coordinated and economical transmission system for bulk delivery of electrical energy. Here, another one of National Grid System. You got three main things that is generation. Generation is process of generating electric power from sources of primary energy. The second one is transmission. Transmission is process of delivering generated electricity. It's usually over long distance and to the National grid system that populated areas and the third one is distribution distribution system organized at a distribution substation and included the lines poles transformers and other equipment needed to deliver electricity to the customer so such as got a commercial customer and a industrial customer Load analysis the power system in Malaysia refers to the total amount of electricity demand from consumer including residential, commercial and industrial sectors as well as public infrastructure. It is crucial metric for power utilities and grid operators to ensure a stable and reliable supply of electricity to meet the country's need so power pen is 12 kV so setup transformer high voltage transmission line is 400 kV kilovolt step down transformer substation 13 kilovolt and step down transformer is 240 volt types of generator in Malaysia you got four main examples and the first one is natural gas generator it's a generator harness mechanical energy fueled by natural gas in this case to create the electricity the second one is coal fire generator it converts chemical energy stored in coal successfully into thermal energy mechanical energy and finally it get to uh, electrical energy and the uh, third one is hydroelectric generator it's a uh, hydroelectric is a uh, when the water come through the dam it's a kinetic energy is used to turn the turbine and the generator is convert the turbine mechanical energy into the electricity so the final is a uh, renewable energy generator 
so you got uh, lots of renewable energy got seven like that so you got three example that is solar energy and we can get the electricity from the wind and the uh, geothermal energy how many hydroelectric power plant in Indonesia so we have five so one is Bakun Dam Murun Dam Batang Ai Dam Kenir Dam and Tamagot Dam in Malaysia got mainly three types of transmission that is TNB TNB is Tanagal National Bahad that supply electricity to all peninsula Malaysia second one is SESB that is Sabah Electric City Sundian Berhad they are developing the electric city infrastructure in the state of Sabah and the federal territory of Laban through generation transmission and distribution and the last one is Sarawak Energy Berhad SEB they are supplied to the all Sarawak and the nearest one Conclusion Malaysia's power system is dynamic and ever changing due to the country's need for a consistent reasonability price and environmentally friendly source of electricity. It is crucial to address issues like energy security, environmental sustainability, and grid reliability as the nation develops and updates its infrastructure. Malaysia has the potential to develop a robust and effective power system to accommodate its expanding population and economy by implementing cutting-edge technology, modernizing transmission and distribution network, and allocating resources towards renewable energy. Thank you.